can buy recycled paper, organic food, even a hybrid car. But the easiest thing you can do is to simply use less and you can start right at home. So we talked to green building experts all over the country for tips on saving energy. There is a lot that you can do today small changes that add up to a big difference. 75% of the energy used to power home electronics is consumed while the products are off or on standby. Your cell phone charger is drawing electricity even when it's not charging your phone. So tip one, unplug electronics when you're not using them. Another simple energy saver, change your light bulbs. Compact fluorescent CFLs, uh, even CFLs that are dimmable, or fit into different size uh, light bulb threads are increasingly available. Heating and cooling accounts for more than half of our home energy use. Just think about how much money you may be wasting if your home isn't properly insulated and sealed. They say that, that if you add up all the little cracks in a building, it's equivalent to one full window just being open all winter. You can be losing up to 30% because it's leaking out through the ducts. And that's an area that most homeowners never even think to look. They think, oh, I've got a new heater, relatively new air conditioner, it must be fine. Water has become precious and scarce as well. There are a lot of simple ways to conserve water. Dual flush toilets are a great way to go green in your house. They can help you save as a family 10,000 gallons of water per year. Another water saver, put aerators on your sinks and shower heads. Low flow shower heads uh, really bother people, the idea of them. They must have their pressure. But now they make shower heads that are aerated. They, they replace water with air, and so the pressure is the same. As for washing dishes, you might be surprised at what the experts say now. Unless you wash your dishes the correct way, which is to fill up a giant tub with sink and soak them and, and, uh, and do it that way, water-saving dishwashers are really quite incredible. If all this seems overwhelming, remember, start simple. Going green in an existing home is all about choices. There are choices that you can make that are going to be cost neutral or that are going to have a return on investment in a very short period of time.